ladies and gents, boys and girls, people of all orientations and sexualities, and welcome back to another Doctor Who review. Today's Doctor Who review is Warriors of the Deep. So, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The Doctor and his friends, Tegan and Turlow, arrive on a base at the bottom of the sea. As they do so, they are discovered by the crew of the base and are soon interrogated to the reason for their arrival. The Doctor then realises that there is much sinister play at work. On one hand, we learn that there is a plot to start a war between the world government, and on the other hand, there is a sabotage going on within the sea's base itself. One of the crew members has been manipulated and tampered with in order to do another crew member's nefarious deeds. Meanwhile, outside of the base, a group of Silurians have found the remaining capsules of their sea devil cousins and are starting to revive them in hopes of attacking the underwater base. Their plan is not to destroy the human race by themselves, but to let the human race destroy themselves with their own weapons and own tools of mass destruction in order to reclaim the earth as it once was theirs before now. The Doctor learns of this and does everything in his power to come to a peaceful conclusion. But sadly, this doesn't all seem to pan out as he wishes. During a chase with the crew, the Doctor ends up falling over the railing and him and his companions are separated. The Doctor is thought to have drowned, but later on we learn that he hasn't drowned, but has managed to escape through a bulkhead in the, the bottom of the ship. Once he does escape, he tries to convince the crew members that they must not engage with the Sea Devil Presence and the Silurians underneath the, the water base, but instead wait for them to come aboard and find out their real intentions. The crew are rather sceptical throughout this story, as they believe the Doctor to be a hostile intent and may be working as a spy for the Sea Devils or Silurians, so they don't trust him immediately, but soon they realise they have no choice but to ask for his help, especially when the base is attacked. The Silurians and Sea Devils then use a creature known as the Merka to get through the bulkhead of the sea base in order to lead a passage through the base. The Merka is what I would describe as part dinosaur, part reptile. The creature in itself uh, manages to clear a rather intense path, but the Doctor remembering his knowledge of its philosophy uses an ultraviolet light to subdue the creature and prevent it from crashing any further through the underwater base. This then in turn leaves the Doctor with a yet another problem, which is the Sea Devils and the Silurians, who have now come aboard the base after capturing multiple percentages of it as a whole. After winning the confidence of the leader of the Silurians, he the Doctor attempts to try and come to a peaceful conclusion, hoping that they will leave the base and that they will live one in peace with all the humans on the earth. But the Silurian leader points out that he does not believe that this is possible anymore, that there was a chance once, but due to everything that has gone on in the past, it is not possible to coexist with mankind. The Doctor then points out to him that that is absolute rubbish as they can they can come to a compromise. If they could achieve peace once, then they can do it again. After heading to the mission silo to find a solution to take down the Silurians without harming them, 
The doctor accidentally stumbles upon a poison which manages to reduce the sea devils to nothing more than goo. The, the humans on the ship and the doctor's own companions point out that they can use this gas to destroy the Silurians once and for all. The doctor gets in a lump and frustratingly argues with his companions and his newfound allies mentioning the fact that he should not have to choose whether they live or die, but at the end of the day, he has tried so hard to make them coexist, that what is even the point of helping them anymore? The Doctor even mentions that his only attempt with the gas originally is to neutralise them, but soon later on, after sending the gas into the main control centre and trying to get his companions to give them oxygen, Turlo shoots one of the Silurians and the Doctor frustratingly points out at the end of the episode that there should have been another way. So now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Warriors of the Deep. A great story starring Peter Davison as a Doctor. What was my thoughts? Well, I love the combination of the Sea Devils and Silurians working together. And I love the combination of two under siege stories happening on one sea base as a whole i love the dilemma of uh, genocide and how it is explored in this story and how the doctor does try to find any solution around preventing it from happening so for that reason i give warriors of the deep a solid eight out of ten brilliant story brilliantly developed and the Merca itself is an absolutely beautiful piece of design. Thank you everyone for watching and we will see you in the next Doctor Who review. Stay beautiful.